bit of dab fishing at Slurf Prompt. First cast. Just had some nice little knocks. The rod's a uh, Grace Triple X 16 foot. Haven't used it for a while, so I thought I'd give it a shot. There we go. Nice to be out a bit dab fishing for a change. I'm just using the one rod. My friend Jeff is fishing the next bench across. He's using two because he's greedy. I really should start fishing with two rods, but I just can't be bothered. Nice, calm, flat night. Lovely for dab for look at that, go on. If anyone who's got the Grace Triple X, you know what they like on the tips, they're nice, the midsection is nice and solid. Well, I'm going to get this in because it's been jumping about a bit. We'll have a look. Just hope it's a dab and not a dogfish. Well, first fish tonight, first cast. Nice dab on the bottom bottom thing on a size 2 circle, so that'll easily come out no bother. And it will be returned, just on some frozen yellows into three bits. So, happy days. Train us for one. Nice night for it. About three degrees. T shirt and hoodie is all the northern man needs. Right, I'll get this fish unhooked and chuck it back. Lovely fish. Yeah, it's always nice to get that uh, target species of a fish. I've been trying for the cod the last few weeks, but I filled on that. Now put whiten and dabs. Um fish Whitby a few weeks ago, about three or four weeks ago, Whitby East and Runzig Bay with Fish Hunter UK, Reese from down south. Um, first time met the lad, good, good lad, good crack. Uh, now he can't get away from the bloody spot. He's been out in the sib and stuff like that, loving life. Um, then last weekend, me, Jeff and my son went down to the Hardness Beaches fished Easington and then Wivensey uh, went to Wivensey then fished the middle of Wivensey prom then went to the South Hornsey on the Sunday where the young one actually kicked the arse like showed us all that would catch fish but that's what it's about it's about having fun isn't it First five minutes into fish. Any bites, Jeff? It's amazing how flat it is, isn't it? Mm, it is not, damn. Yeah, Can't see it there, but that's just water. You know, the, the one with the tape on? Yeah. It's not going to work at all, but it's just a place. 
See it there, I. Yeah. Camera keeps losing focus. What time is it now? Two, two hours, you know, two hours up from, from high. Hi. Well, it's nice to have a dab in. Jeff, what we came for? Well, what I came for. Jeff's hoping for anything big. It's 11 o'clock. 11. Time's high water, 20 to 1 in the morning. Any time, any time round about. You know, for a bike. Hi. Hopefully the dabs will keep coming and getting bigger and bigger. So we can only try. He's not putting gates on down there, is he Jeff? Or is he fishing? <laughs> oh, that's all right then. Don't want him locked on. <laughs> <coughs> Aye, the gates open that side, just drive around on the uh, on the old grassy bit. As a lot of people say on YouTube when you're watching the videos, it's uh, the amount of rubbish that's getting laid about lately is absolutely shocking. I mean, if you come over to my bag, there's my rubbish bag there. My beer, but my bag itself. You know, it's not hard to take stuff home with you and put it in your bin or bins where you're fishing or there's lime bins on piers and that now, so it's just a big subject. There's a lot of people learning about it. And there we go again. Hey up. Lovely tips on these triple X's. I've had this rod now about uh, 15 years. I normally fish with the TTR, but this is the softest rod I've got, apart from the spinning rod. Hopefully a bag full of dabs tonight. Lots of action, lots of sport. That's what the fishing's all about. I am now. I've left it off till he started. <laughs> Feel like it's on? Yeah, yeah, maybe it's chill. Yeah? Maybe it's chill or a dog. Hope the dogs don't come in and spoil it, but good, good for all, it's good for it. Here we are. Here we are. I can see a fish. I think. Oh, I feel weed on the end. I'm sure there's a fish. A little whiting, is it? Or a little codling? Whiting? Whiting, Jeff, by the looks of it. Couldn't really tell when it was down there. Whiting. Nice little whiting. It's lucky because if that was on the east coast of Scotland, that would be getting a 6 all right from the flip. <laughs> Come dog fishing, you catch the whiting. It's a fat little one, mine. Them size two circles, ideal, though. Just pop them out. Coughing up sprat sand eels. Is it? Yep. A little soul wear whiting. That. That's come out that little fish. That sprat. That has come out of that. <laughs> sprat or a squid? Yeah. Right, let's chuck it back in. Chuck it back. Aye, right, gone. Gone. 
like the go wind. On. Sound, right. And the rig, that was on the bottom hook again, eh? Bottom hook. Right, catch up in a bit then, yeah? Yeah. So, aye, uh, that's two fish and two casts. Um, the dab and the whitey, so... Probably get a dog next, get a, a triple hook, and then I don't know we'll just scratch, scratch about. Dabs is the what we're wanting tonight. Well, what I'm after anyway. Um, I know I'll get a lot of a lot of stick about this because it's like the first one I've done for fishing really where I've been speaking. Just didn't know what to say really. Um, bit of a thrud, just pulled back a bit there. So obviously I've done the ferreting video. Um, put music over the top because no one likes to hear the, the rabbits squealing on and stuff like that so I got some stick over putting the, the music in the background but you can't have everything, you can't keep everybody happy as everybody knows you just got to try your best and just bring an extra fun to fishing really a bit more crack so I is it all you, I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but there's geese on the Solway squawking on. There's Scotland in the distance. Powerfoot area in Annan. That's where they're getting the geese. So hopefully, it's 2 0 to me, Jeff. Yeah. 2 0 to me. And I'm using one rod. Might be using three hooks, but I'm using one rod. Ah, two hooks. Two hooks. Two hooks, two rods. It's nice night, Jeff. Nice night. So we'll... We'll get there. Uh, I think they lost them geese and all, just flying around in circles. They want to come land in the boot of my car. I'll, I'll sort them out for Christmas. I'll give them a present. I want to come down here. I've got a nice hot oven. <laughs> if anyone's ever fished, I know a lot of people fish here for things in the summer. Um, but it's also nice fishing for the dabs in the in the winter. You come so far along, there's ledges, and then they get covered by high water off the promenade and you know it's tidy it's only it's only 45 minutes from where we live so it's nice and local compared to some places I go so all right we'll see if how it happens and uh, if not that'll be the end of the video but like I say that will second cast two fish in 20 minutes so there we go again another rattle oh that's a gun so right, we'll pause yet and see what happens. Ah well, I've just wound that in there and uh, had all the rod and it went right over me on lovely bite, but absolutely nothing back. Um, felt like a dogfish. There we go again, rattling away again. I've just literally cast out and put it in the rod stand, so it looks like you're going to be in for a good night. The tide's pushing in. Anyone knows the Solway runs quite fast. I'm using. What well, was meant to be a seven ounce lead, but I ran out of lead, so it's only half of a seven ounce. It's like three and a half to four ounce. Um, and it's flat on one side, and it, it is a nice, nice lead like, um, to be fair. But I'm only chucking 30, 40 yards to the left, so with the tide coming in now on the flood, it's pushing from left to right. So I've, I'm chucking out towards where Balcarry would be in Scotland. And then let's swing back round, coming in, and it's working out all right there. But aye, uh, let's see if we can get another fish for you. Right. So I'm fishing with dabs, I'm only using small bits, I'm getting a worm. Splitting it into three bits. Put it on me um, lead wire, grip wires, out the leads, as you can see there. To grip wires in my messy box uh, bag, um, and then I just wrap them up and then I just pull them off and wrap, put them on the size two circles. <coughs> Obviously, small baits. I mean, do you know what I mean? Very small baits, but that's a seven inch needle, three baits, lovely go on there. So then they're just ready now, just to whap on when I'm sorted. 
obviously have a little bucket for my waist and there the needle and elastic and then obviously I put my rubbish there, I wiped my hands with that because I took my rag out because it was absolutely stinking Um, like it would make people sick like let's ask Jeff, Jeff yeah. how bad was my rag stinking from last week? Smelt, it smelt like landfill <laughs> landfill <laughs> the full bag smelt Jeff didn't it? it smelt like a landfill site I know I dare not take the I need to put it in the washer when our oh, ass isn't looking. Ooh. Any yeah. any bites, Jeff? A couple of interests on that one again. You know, the smaller one. Yeah. Seems like a tub down, but just once. All yeah. chance of a ray coming out of here when it's this flat, Jeff. I think I think there is a I think there is because that's flat car on that. That's it. That's not even a ripple, is it? That. Very, very quiet. Very. Just my big gob. <laughs> no, I've had a couple of things, but twice I've reeled in and there's been a bit of weed on mine. I had weed on that last one. Well, it wasn't weed, it was grass. There's been no floods for a while, has there? So no, no. it makes you wonder why there's grass coming out. I had a knock just as soon as I chucked out before, but... Um, hoping for a double hookup or a triple hookup like yeah, the bank can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the fire would look. Bit of image, Jeff. The fire would went then. Can't believe I forgot the big light. That's a Russian to get out the house to go and fish and that. It's the only reason you bought it. Aye, and for work. That was the main reason for work, so I don't fall over on the back of the pickup. Mm. Ah, there you good lamp. They'll light this place up, no bother. Stick it on top of the, on, on the car roof, it'll light the full lot up, won't it? Looking light out. <laughs> Two degrees, Jeff. We're only short of one, and we can. If it, if, if it comes up another one, we can start singing. <laughs> what they were called, in it? The three degrees. Three degrees, yeah. aye. Shorts and t shirt weather, Jeff. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. No. Shorts and t shirt. I've got. I've got. This, this, <laughs> this, and a Carlisle top. No mind shots and t-shirt. I've got my hoodie, and then a t-shirt, what I use for a rag in Norway, believe it or not. <laughs> and that's it. That's all you need, man. I, I use that as a rag in Norway, and brought it home and chucked it through the washer. <laughs> Sorted. Brings us luck now, kinda. Ah, we go. Ah, it'd be nice not to catch no dogfish, Jeff, but I can't see it. Say rabbits at the back end. I'd settle for the dogfish at the minute. I think, I think there's some up the, the other bit where you're at. Aye. Uh, there's a couple there. There's the a few on the top, sir. See them? Yeah. Oh. Nothing's standing up. Looking at us, the one, are you? There you are. There we go. <laughs> Sitting lovely, then. There was some more on the back, wasn't there? Aye, there was up by the, the dock bit. Aye, a few rabbits on the back of there. There you are, there's the other coming down the bank there. Yeah, right I can just you. say pick it up. Right. <coughs> I seen on uh, Fish Hunter UK's one the other night when he was fishing for dabs down on the south coast, there was a fox walking through the groins. 
a fox eye walking over the top of the, uh, the sand in the next groin. Crazy, yeah? Like... Walking towards the water, must have been gone for a drink. You don't really see that much of here, do you? No, just geese and rabbits. You know, in Newcastle, do you see them in Newcastle, like? Aye, uh, what foxes? Aye. <laughs> You don't see any football. No, there's no football in Newcastle. <laughs> Next season, they'll be the most expensive team, not just in the world, but in the championship. <laughs> then, obviously, Sutherland's going to get promoted, then they'll go to smash Newcastle. Next season. This is all out of my league. I, I used to follow Carlisle, but that's it. <laughs> out of my league. That's gone down the swanny. Did they not win at the weekend, Jeff? Didn't play. Oh, aye. Covid. Good as three points, isn't it? <laughs> I think that puts them over three unbeaten. Three unbeaten, three unplayed. <laughs> hey, up there's another one sat on there. Yeah, because some of the two were on that bottom there. But... Keep clapping, don't they? Right. I can't see them. My, my light I've got in the house would actually bright this up like. There we go. Just see the eyes on the top. Just see its eyes glistering. No, it's not no. Yeah. There's another two that they're there. I can just smack them out. I think there's three together there. Let's see how close we can get to these rabbits. Eh? Hey, it's off. Yeah, that, that one's down. We're only 15 yards off them, Jeff. Yeah. Oh well, let's go back to the fishing. There's that lead I was talking about. Half a DC uh, <coughs> mould, so it turned out alright. And then obviously, third cast, no, fourth cast, third dab. Nice little dab. Yeah, perfect. What, 20 centimetres ish? Could be gone, so. But that's how right this is with them little tiny hooks. Okay, that, that's perfect, that. That's what you want, eh? Stuff like that. I mean, look at them eyes. So, right, let's get it unhooked, chuck it back out, get another one. With any luck. You wouldn't think they'd start off normally around the other side and then move around to each side. That's crazy, isn't it? Here's a nice treble, a nice treble look up. Yeah. Two, two white and then a, and a little mop, white isn't it? There's one you've got one eye. Did you say there's a little mop on there? Yeah, a little small mop. Right. But everyone don't know what a mop is, it's a small cod. Small cod. Just to clarify, there's its uh, little beard there. Yeah. See it there? Yeah, yeah. Lovely fish. What's that, seven inches long? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Get that back in. And then, we've got the bigger one out the free. Nice, well, it's a thick whiting, really. You know, um, this other whiting here has only got one eye. Spin it round. Yeah. Look at the teeth in that. Pretty crazy, right? We'll get these unhooked and chuck them back in. Yeah. Alright, we'll catch up in a bit, yeah? Yeah. Just to show you how I actually bait up. I know there's a lot of people know already how you think, but I don't know if you can see on there, just that. Small piece of worm. Through. It's not very big. Like that. 
then get a bit of elastic just to keep it together a bit. And my uh, old clobbers. Let's wrap it up. There you go. Pull it tight and literally that's it like it's literally an inch. That's all I'm using. So that one like that and then get a worm, pull it out, snap it off, like that, lovely bit. For dabs, obviously I've had codling coddling and a whiting on there, but still fishing for dabs. I'm not getting excited and thinking about chucking a, a big old cod sausage bait out because I'm in the wrong spot for that. You fish for what's in front of you. Um, what's in front of us now is small, smaller fish, and just fishing for the bigger fish. Um, maybe hopefully you might get a ray out or some doggies or a, a conger. You never know, but you never know what you're going to catch here. But I'm just scratching. Just for dabs and out small, really, just for a bit, a bit, a bit of sport. Like that's what's about, eh? God, where's that little one? But try to get like three baits out of one worm. Um, so block. Just through. I just put them on the on me lead wires just to just to bind them on more than anything else just to help thing but I use these wires for absolutely everything I don't actually have a bait needle and um, what I do with the bigger baits is I wind them on like this say if it's the, like the size of the needle for instance and then I'll lie the hook next to them and then I put the hook on through the top like that and wrap it up good will bind it up but that there's your me free baits for the next cast one worm just pull it to bits, works a treat. See if we get some more fish. I just had a nice knock there. Um, nice rattle, tap, tap, tap. More of a whitey bite there we go again, see? Oh, that was me kicking the rod. Oh, right, I'll, I'll get this wound in. There we go, nice fish stuff, nice bite. Wait on this one, yeah? Yeah. Bit of weight on this one? Yeah. Yeah, maybe the dog. Yeah. Bit of splashing going about. Oh no. The double up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's for fishing with a TTR, leaving it up a fair bit. So there we have it <laughs> a whiting and a dab. I think that's four whiting, three dab, one small codling. Nice. Don't know if you can see them there. So get them unhooked and chuck them back in the water. Ah, so you see, oh. nice whiting, nice little dab. See that, they'd be all, all size like, look at that, right in the scissors, um, small hooks. 
I sound get the book back so yeah the uh, the whiting have been coughing up like small sprats um, I don't know if anyone else has been finding that they've been coughing up sprats I know on the south coast they'll coughing the white bait up but that's like a million miles away from up here there's, there's Scotland over there you can just see, see them lights that's Scotland so it's about zero degrees now I've still got me t-shirt on and my hoodie but Jeff's you are no, you've had a few knocks Jeff have you but no bite no bites uh, no fish, fish get that focus back in there we go uh, the tip sections on these 16 foot triple X is the idea I've lowered the, trod, the rod down a bit so I can see the tip bit better so I don't use a tip light I've had it in the past where the lines wrap around them and stuff like that I just don't like them I just use a headlight on all the time I have two headlights um, I bought last week a big um, rotating lamp and like, it will light this pier up but they're starting to get a knock again like like I say, it's the first first video I've made. Um, there will be more coming, but I just need to get better at stuff. But if you like, if you like it, subscribe, and I go all over. Uh, I live just outside of Carlisle, towards Holt Whistle, and um, so it's like the centre of Britain, really. So I can be anywhere within three hours' drive. I know three hours is a lot, but it's not really, is it? It's only three hours. Um, it'd be nice to get a few more dabs I think I've had three dabs out now three dabs, four whiten uh, I think and one small codlin a mop so it'd be nice to get a dogfish that'd be like four specimens eh? Aye, that'd be nice like but that's what it's about it's about, about catching fish isn't it about catching the fish and having a crack with your pals, de-stressing, standing in ice cold conditions, catching small fish and chucking them back. It's not always about catching big fish. That's what I say anyway, that's my excuse. <laughs> It's nice to see small cod and what we had there before. It's good to see them, them things like. It's uh, slack water now, top of the tide. So hopefully, next half now we should start getting some fish when there's a bit of movement pulling through. So, if we start getting any fish, I'll uh, you'll get to see them. If any luck, tight half for now. I know people will get sick of seeing whiting, but look at this fat belly on that. That's full of white fish, yeah. Once again, on the bottom milk. Right, the scissors with a small, small size two circles. Let's get it back. Look at the gut on that. Full of white fish. Well, that's us tonight. It's 25 to 2. Had one fish after the tide turned. And then anyone who knows Silif, the tide pull is absolutely phenomenal. And what's Jeff? Was Jeff? Oh, live fish, live fish. Oh, best dab of the night. <laughs> Size of this, people. Good, Jeff's dab, hi. Yeah. It's about the Jeff. Guy, nice fish, Jeff. Well done, sir. Nice cast. <laughs> Belt and fish. Mm. Any weed on that one, then, Jeff, or not? Yeah. Any weed there? Was just the pull pulling oh. you right round? Uh, it's it. just a touch there. I didn't even see the bike because I was up there fucking that other way. Yeah. Ah, it's a cracking dab, that Jeff. That's what we, that's what I came for. A nice it's dab. A, it's a fair old size, sir. Aye. 
what do you reckon, 30 centimetres, 28, yeah. 30s? Really nice dub. In good nick, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, are Right. Oh well, saves a blank, Jeff. Not what you're wanting, but we'll tack whatever we're given. Shy boys getting a broth. Listen, I didn't blank. Right. So yeah, uh, nice dab by Jeff. Um, as you can see, I've been fishing from this bench here. Well, you can't see very well, but been fishing from this bench here. Look at that. Not one bit of rubbish. That's what everybody should be leaving. If we all start doing that, the world be a better place. Right, thanks for watching, if you've watched it. Um, we've got to drive back to Carlisle now. <clears throat> so, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me, it's all the same. Um, like and subscribe if you don't mind, that would be nice. And you'll see more from us in the near future. Maybe it's next year, because our lasses is twisting at a bing out every week for a few weeks. So, we'll get sorted somewhere. Catch us later on. Ta-ta from Salif and ta-ta from me.